Hey everybody, I'm doing a water change on my 125 and I thought I would check the nitrates just to get an idea of what's going on in the tank. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to discuss something that comes up a lot and that is the level of precision with which we can judge the nitrates in our tank with these API test kits. And I've said a million times, they're just not very precise. If for no other reason, it's incredibly difficult to tell exactly what color that is. And in this particular example, to my eye, that is not quite as red as the 40 parts per million, but it's definitely more red than the 20 parts per million. And so where would you put that? And the answer is, who cares? It's somewhere between 20 and 40 parts per million. So we could round it to 30. We could even round it up to 40. It's just not a number that really needs to be that precise. It's just there to give you an idea of what's going on in the tank. Again, remember that number of 40 parts per million on your nitrates, where it suddenly becomes mysteriously dangerous or something. That's a totally arbitrary number. It's a guideline to go by and the nitrates don't magically become extra dangerous once you get over a certain point there's no need for the precision of knowing exactly when you cross that threshold or anything else and I'm going to show you an example of how you can tell these are not meant to be super precise and that is if you look at the freshwater card versus the saltwater card you will notice that the color codes are ever so slightly different look at the 40 parts per million I think that's 40 um, Look how red it is on the fresh water, and then look how orange it is on the salt water. So there's very clearly a color difference. It's subtle, but it's there. And if there's a color difference between salt water and fresh water, what makes the color different? Where is the gradient or the threshold between this color and then suddenly you get enough salt in the tank and it's, it's this color? So there's got to be room if my brackish tank is going to be in here somewhere it's not it doesn't you know i'm not sure how i'm trying to say this there's no salt threshold where suddenly you switch from it being a freshwater card to being a saltwater card if you've got a brackish tank how much salinity is going to be in there is going to change that color to some degree so without knowing an awful lot of stuff about what's going on in the tank and without having some kind of spectrometer that would give you the exact color of what that tank is and in fact the light bulb you're looking at this test underneath is going to change how red or brown or orange it looks so all of that taken into consideration should be sort of proof positive that these nitrate tests from API were never meant to be super precise. They're meant to give you a general idea of what's going on in your tank. And in this case, I've got the general idea that we're about 30 to 40-ish parts per million somewhere in that neighborhood. But again, that's just an arbitrary number. There's no magical transition that happens with the nitrates where they suddenly become dangerous when they get beyond that threshold. We'll talk more about nitrates coming up in another video. It's one of those videos I just really don't feel like shooting, but I will one of these days. We'll get around to it. So thanks for watching this one, everybody. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't want to miss anything I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. So thanks again. I'll see you real soon in the next one.